Hey designers, so on this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make some really cool painted text um, for your designs with the Wet Paint Studio. And the cool thing is, is that you totally don't have to be um, a hand lettering expert or a calligrapher or anything like that to make some really cool stuff. So I'm going to show you my little hacks and what I do to make it look good. So first off I've got a document open here, I've got a black background, and then I've got some text here and I've just typed out the word that I'm going to write and this is my favorite thing to do um, which is to use uh, a typeface as a stencil basically so it's really a good way if you're not a lettering expert I'm not at all so I've got my friend Callie's typeface here it's five burrows regular and I typed out the word joyful and I'm basically um, just going to use that as a little uh, guide for my my hand lettering so my quote hand lettering I'm using a, a tablet right now so I'm I just lowered the opacity so it's kind of low and created another layer over it and then I'm gonna go into my brushes and for this one I think I'm gonna get my number four brush uh, of the wet paint studio and uh, I'm going to select uh, now I need to load my brush with some color so I'm going to go over to my, uh, which one do I want to get? I think I will go over to my Bold and Bright Palm Beach Garden Party colors. And down here, I'll look at the label, it's number 33. So on my palette, I'm going to hit Option and click, or on the PC, I forget what it is, Alt, click, um, to load up that color from this swatch here. And so now as you can see up here it's loaded and so now I'm going to go back to my document and I'm going to start painting. So I will just, uh, oh this is fine, uh, zoom in a little bit if I want. I've got my brush, I've got it loaded, I think I might lower the, let's just see what kind of, yeah that's good. You can right bracket or left bracket to increase the size. Now one of the cool things that I'm going to point out to you is that um, we've got this new smoothing option on the, if, you have, if you're running Photoshop CC, you've got the smoothing thing at the top where it can help you to make more smoother um, strokes. So I'm, I've actually done an update and I'm going to release that um, today or tomorrow with the new ones because not all of my brushes previously had the little smoothing thing checked but I made sure that all of them are so that whenever you load a brush you've got this smoothing option right here and you can make it smoother or not which that's really cool and actually I will go back and turn on the um, gonna go let's see here my preferences units no cursors I'm gonna turn back on this brush leash that they have the new brush leash so as you can see here um, I've only got 10% on by default but you can see that little leash that comes on. And uh, if you have an older version of Photoshop, it you know doesn't matter, but this is a good thing for the new one because it helps you make things a bit a wee bit smoother. So I've got my brush, I've got it loaded, and then I'm just gonna take my brush smoothing up a little bit just for fun because it makes it all like totally it makes it a bit smoother. And then I'm just gonna start painting. So I'll just kind of follow this letter form here and I think that I will there we go there's a one and then since the cross here is over it I think I'll do that afterwards so I'm just gonna go boop. so there we go and then let's go to the O and you know you can always undo if you didn't like it just click you know command Z or control Z undo if you want to do it again or if you don't like exactly how it turns out but the goal is to kind of keep it smooth and you know kind of casual so I'm just gonna go like this and I make some really cool fun text and then let's do the F that's close enough and uh, the cool thing is with the new update of CC is that the brushes, the brush engine is even faster, which is amazing. It might look a little bit slower right now because I am screen recording and that takes a lot of memory from my computer. But uh, if you're not screen recording, they should be so fast. It's ridiculous. 
and uh, I'm actually still on a slightly older MacBook, but it still does me good, so I'm happy with it right now. So there we go. I'm going to turn off the uh, guide text below, and I'm happy with this. It's good enough, and if you go look in here, you've got all these like lovely color mixes, which is fabulous, lovely. Um, so yeah, and it's just that easy, you know, like I'm not a lettering artist, I'm not a calligrapher, but I can make some really cool uh, text. You know, if you're doing printables, you're doing uh, templates, you're doing items for sale, this is like, you know, really fun to use. So now I'm just going to do a little embellishment on this for fun. So I'm going to add another layer and I'm going to get into my modern impressionist brushes which this is the first brush, uh, another brush that I did that has a little kind of hacking into a little use tool in Photoshop. So I'm gonna take my pattern stamp tool and I'm gonna go over here to my brushes and actually, which one did I wanna get? I forget now, I think it was 15, no, not that one. I'm going into my Palm Beach Garden Party this is good. Okay, so I'm getting my Palm Beach Garden Party Brush number 19, and I've got my Pattern Stamp Tool selected, and then I want to make sure I've got my patterns loaded that come with my um, pattern brushes, my Impressionist brushes, and so I've got the same color scheme, number 33 here, selected, and so this is Palm Beach Garden Party brush number 19 and color scheme number 33 and so what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to paint around behind these letters so I'm not gonna worry you might be like what it's like you can't see the letter so much but I'll worry about that in a second so I'm just gonna kinda follow the letters and do something like this that looks really fun I think I'll just go ahead and fill that in so kind of fun. All right, follow the letters. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a drop shadow to my text. And I've just got multiply and can kind of play with the opacity, but I kind of want a dramatic opacity. So and then I had put the distance a little far. So you kind of got that nice dramatic shadow. And I'll put the angle at 135, that's a good angle, and I'll hit OK. So you can play with these, but the um, just so you see, I use like a distance of 33, the spread 24, size 9, so you can just play around with it till it looks good. So that's kind of fun, but if you notice me, I'm a little bit of a maximalist. So with the pattern stamp tool, I'm using the same color scheme, I'm going to go and get brush number 21 and add a little bit extra and brush in some like cool uh, brush strokes with this. I like this brush. It's kind of like it's not too dense and I'm just gonna go like this around it and that's kind of crazy and cool and fun. So I could even fill up this whole space, whatever. But it's crazy, it's fun, it's definitely <laughs> impactful. So I just wanted to do a little demo to show you what you can do, and mainly with the mixer brush, but just thought I'd have a little bit of fun with my modern impressionist brushes because um, a lot of the color schemes that I used for the, the color blends that I used from the Modern, uh, the wet paint studio come from my different collections that are um, the modern impressionists. So they go together, it makes it really easy to go together really well. So hopefully you like this tutorial. And the main thing is, is that you can see how easy it is to paint some text, totally use a font as a guide, paint over it, and it looks like um, really cool.